Hello and welcome to Planet The Basics. Planet was the first mainline express passenger locomotive design, delivered in October 1830, just over a year after the triumph of Rocket, designed by father and son team George and Robert Stevenson at the Rainhill Trials, Planet was a step change from what had gone on before. The design of Planet had a modern boiler, a boiler with a proper smoke box with a chimney on top at the front end and a firebox within the boiler shell at the rear. She had a steam dome with an internal steam pipe for thermal efficiency. The cylinders were mounted horizontally underneath the smoke box to keep them warm. Because the cylinders were low down and horizontally mounted, they drove through a crank axle. And finally the whole locomotive was supported with a set of proper frames. Frames we call sandwich frames, made from lengths of ash or oak timber sandwiched between plates of wrought iron, the whole held together with bolts. Her designer was Robert Stevenson. He was the only son of George Stevenson, described by the Victorian know-it-all Dr Dionysius Lardner as the father of the railways. Robert was born in his father's cottage in 1803. Educated at a Unitarian Academy in Newcastle, run by John Bruce, there he came to the attention of the Reverend William Turner, a prominent Unitarian minister and cleric who opened many doors for the young man. Robert spent a term at the University of Edinburgh before being apprenticed to his father's old colleague Nicholas Wood. Wood had, of course, been a judge at the Rainhill Trials and had even granted the Stevenson's permission to try out Rocket on the Colliery Railway where he worked. But that, of course, is another story. Planet, like Rocket before her, was built at Robert Stevenson & Company's works at 4th Street, Newcastle. The company had been established in 1823 by prominent Quaker businessman Edward Pease, who was a majority shareholder. George and Robert each held two shares each, as did Michael Longridge, their business partner, and he was the manager of the Bedlington Ironworks. Whilst well known as a locomotive builder, Stevenson and co were general engineers and iron founders, making everything from steam engines to cast iron water tanks. The design of Planet had been inspired by the steam road coaches of the Quaker engineer Goldsworthy Gurney. Robert wrote to Longridge on New Year's Day 1828. I have been talking a great deal to my father about endeavouring to reduce the size and ugliness of our travelling engines by applying the engine either on the side of the boiler or beneath it entirely somewhat similar to Gurney's steam coach. Indeed, the layout of Planet mirrored that of Gurney's steam coach, with small carrying wheels at the front to guide around curves, large driving wheels at the back to take most of the weight, so the opposite of rocket, horizontal cylinders placed low down underneath, driving a crank axle. Planet the ninth locomotive owned by the Liverpool and Manchester Railway was completed on the 3rd of September 1830. She was dispatched by sea to Liverpool, where she arrived a month later. She was named Planet on the 4th of October. Running trials immediately began. One Manchester newspaper breathlessly reported, Liverpool to Manchester in one hour. On Monday, the Planet one of Mr. Stevenson's most improved engines travelled the distance from Liverpool to Manchester in the space of one hour, the time occupied being only 60 minutes, two of which were taken up in oiling and examining the machinery about midway. Then, in December, a trial was made with a train of 18 heavily loaded goods wagons. The whole lot weighed 80 tonnes gross and Planet romped away with this load, and covered the 30 miles between Liverpool and Manchester in just under three hours. It was a magnificent performance. But better was still to come, 
when early in the next year she drew a load of 96 tons. Then the heaviest load moved on the railway in one and a half hours. Impressive stuff. So impressed with the board of directors of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway that they ordered a further 15 examples. Other manufacturers began to produce the design under license, including Charles Taylor and Company of Newton Le Willows and Fenton, Murray and Jackson of Leeds. The design became an international success. Examples were supplied to railways in France and in Austria. But Robert had failed to patent his design, and many pirated versions appeared, primarily in the United States, with copies being made by Matthias Baldwin or the Locks and Canal Company, who began building pirated versions as early as May 1831. Robert Stevenson and co. had no test facilities or a test track to try out their new designs, which meant many teething problems and design difficulties were worked out in mainline service, often as a result of nasty accidents. First, the copper tubes in the boiler were found to rapidly wear away, so too the inner iron firebox, and these were replaced by brass boiler tubes and a copper firebox. Even more dramatic were wheel and axle failures. The first sets of wheels were wooden, with wooden spokes and rims with an iron hub, but they were too weak to take the strain, so they were replaced with wrought iron wheels, but they too were poorly designed. Robert Stevenson was working at the cutting edge, if not beyond the cutting edge, of materials technology. Crank axles too were poorly designed and poorly manufactured, with several breaking in service, resulting in often very serious accidents. And this was despite him taking a belt and braces approach to give the crank axle the maximum amount of support as possible. A programme of continual improvement of boiler, of wheel and axle design solved many of these problems, but sadly it came at the expense of human life. The Planet class was fast and fuel efficient and remained popular on the Liverpool and Manchester Railway and elsewhere. Of the design, one of the directors, Hardman Earl, remarked that she came as close to perfection, relatively speaking, than any locomotive which had come before her, and that her layout had never been improved upon. Indeed, the design of Planet would influence the steam locomotive during the rest of the 19th century. Planet, the titular member of the class, had a long working life, lasting in service until 1840 when she was scrapped. She had a few knocks and scrapes on the way, including breaking her crank axle on Chat Moss, being involved in a few nasty collisions and being rebuilt with six wheels. A working replica was first steamed in Manchester in 1992 at the Museum of Science and Industry. Including many mod cons unheard of in 1830, she is as faithful as possible to the original design of the first mainline express passenger locomotive. If you'd like to find out more about Planet and the other locomotives of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, check out my new book, Locomotives of the Liverpool and Manchester Railway, coming soon from Pen and Sword Transport.